Hey everyone, in today's video, we're gonna show you how you can get from the port of Keelung in Taiwan into the city of Taipei, 18 miles or 30 kilometers away, see pandas, and then get back to the port again, all for less than 10 US dollars. Let's dive in. That's right, in today's video, it's all about showing you how you can go and see giant pandas from the port of Keelung. Now, Keelung is a port city located in northeast Taipei. It usually takes around 30 to 40 minutes to travel by car or train between the two cities, depending on the traffic conditions. Keelung has a rich history dating back to the 17th century, when it was then known as Kalang. Today, it is a bustling port city with a population of over 370,000 people. The city is surrounded by mountains and faces the sea, offering stunning views of the Pacific Ocean. The port of Keelung has been an important shipping hub for centuries, serving as a major gateway to northern Taiwan and the capital city of Taipei. In the late 19th century, Keelung became an important port for foreign trade, particularly with Japan, due to its strategic location and natural harbour. In 1915, the Japanese colonial government began construction of a modern port in Keelung to meet the growing demand of trade and transportation. The new port included a breakwater, docks, warehouses and other facilities. Now after World War II, Taiwan came under Chinese control and the port of Keelung continued to play a key role in the island's economy. In the 1980s, the government began to focus on developing the port as a hub for tourism and passenger transportation. In 2001, the Keelung city government launched a project to transform the existing port facilities into a modern cruise port that could accommodate large ships. Now, the project involved building new piers, terminals and other infrastructure, as well as improving the surrounding area with parks, shops and restaurants. The first phase of the project was completed in 2004 and the Keelung cruise port officially opened for business. Since then, the port has become a popular destination for cruise ships from all around the world, with thousands of passengers embarking each year in this town to explore the city of Keelung and the surrounding area. Now from Keelung, the goal is to get into the city of Taipei in the most cost-efficient fashion. Now while it is possible to take a taxi, it is far cheaper to take the train. To get to Taipei from Keelung by train, you can take the Taiwan Railways Administration or TRA train from Keelung Station. Now Keelung Station is located in the city centre of Keelung. Now there's a couple of different docking berths in Keelung, all of which have local visitor staff where they can help point you out on a map exactly where the train station is from your cruise docking berth. Now if you do happen to be docked at the West Passenger Terminal, the train station is just right outside the port there, so that's super convenient. Now there are several types of trains that operate between Keelung and Taipei. They include local trains which make stops at all stations along the route. There's also express trains which make fewer stops and are generally faster. Now you can purchase tickets at the ticket counter or from a ticket machine located within the station. The cost of a train ticket from Keelung Station into Taipei Main Station on the TRA depends on the type of train and the class of service you choose. Now this video is all about cost efficiency, so the cheapest option is the local train, which costs 40 New Taiwan dollars, which is approximately $1.40 US equivalent. Now these are one-way fares of standard adult tickets. Once you have your ticket, you can board the train at Keelung Station. Now the train ride from Keelung into Taipei on this option it takes just under an hour depending on the type of train and the number of stops that it makes. Now riding the train from the port city into the capital also provides a glimpse through the window of the train at some of the island's incredible nature.
When you arrive at Taipei Station, you can transfer to the MRT or the Mass Rapid Transit, which is kind of like the subway system, and that'll help you reach Taipei Zoo. Firstly, you take the MRT Bannon Line or the Blue Line from Taipei Main Station towards Xindian or Nangang Exhibition Center. You don't go all the way to the end though, you get off the blue line at Zhongxiao Fuxing and swap to the brown line and head southbound, taking you directly to Taipei Zoo Station, which has the subway code BR01. Now that journey takes approximately 25 to 30 minutes. Once you get there, follow the signs to the exit of the station and make your way to the entrance of Taipei Zoo, which is located right outside the station. To use the MRT, you just need to purchase a single journey ticket from a ticket vending machine or the service counter at Taipei Main Station. And just a tip too, you can actually download a free Metro Map app onto your smartphone before traveling, which gives you a good guide to the stops along the station route that you'll need to visit. Now at the time of this recording, the fare for a single journey from Taipei Main Station to Taipei Zoo Station was 35 New Taiwan dollar, which is about $1.15 US equivalent. Now there's automatic ticket machines at each station and the machines only accept these cash coins, but you can always change a note or a bill into coins at the station. You can also purchase a ticket at the manned counters as well. Now please note that the fare prices and policies that may change over time so it's always best to check in with the official website of the Taipei Metro for the latest information on their fares, routes and schedules. Now the Taipei Zoo is located in the Musha district of Taipei and it covers an area of over 165 hectares or over 400 acres. Now the time of making this video the general admission ticket for the Taipei Zoo was 60 new Taiwan dollars which is about 2 US dollar equivalent. Now it's home to more than 400 different species of animals from all around the world, including some rare and endangered species. One of the most famous animals at the Taipei Zoo, however, is the giant panda. Now the zoo is home to two giant pandas, Tuan Tuan and Yuan Yuan, who were gifted to Taiwan by China in 2008. They're located within what is known as the Special Exhibit House. Visitors can watch these adorable creatures munching on their bamboo and playing in their spacious enclosures. But pandas are not the only attraction at the Taipei Zoo. Whilst there, visitors can also see a wide variety of other animals such as lions, tigers, elephants, zebras, giraffes, penguins, koalas and many more. One of the most unique exhibits is the Formosan Animal Area which showcases the rich biodiversity of Taiwan, including animals such as the Formosan black bear, the Mikado pheasant, and the pangolin. Now a common question is how long do we need to spend at the zoo? Well, the amount of time that people spend visiting the zoo can depend varying on their interests and at the pace in which they choose to explore. As a general guideline, visitors can expect to spend around three to four hours exploring the zoo and seeing the various animal exhibits. However, visitors that are particularly interested in certain animals or exhibits may want to spend more time there than others. Additionally, families with young children may want to spend some extra time at the children's zoo and the petting area. Once you've finished up your time at the Taipei Zoo, you simply return back to Keelung Port by repeating the travel steps in reverse. So let's take a look at a breakdown of the costs involved in this outing. Now based on the title of this video, we will do this in US dollar equivalent numbers. So the first thing we had was the train from Keelung Station into Taipei Main Station. Now the cost for that is $1.40. The second step was the MRT or the subway ticket cost from Taipei Main Station to the Taipei Zoo Station and that cost is $1.15. Then you've got the entrance fee of the zoo itself which is two US dollar equivalent. So that takes us to $4.55 so far. Then you've got the return journey costing another $1.15 for the metro back to Taipei Main Station, followed by another $1.40 for the train going back to Keelung to get back to the cruise ship port. So all costs considered, this adds up to a grand total of $7.10. So there it is, an amazing day out seeing an incredibly unique and rare animal species, all for less than 10 US dollars. 
Now you can also extend this day out by not getting right back on the train to head back to Keelong. If you've got a few hours to spare, there are several attractions near the Taipei main station that visitors can explore. Now these options include the National Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall, the famous Taipei 101 skyscraper with its 89th floor observation deck, and also the Longsheng Temple, which is an ornate Buddhist temple, and it's one of the oldest and most well-known temples in the city of Taipei. Now when planning this day out, some useful resources to have in advance are a couple of apps that you can actually download onto your smartphones in advance of traveling. Now firstly, as we already mentioned here, downloading a free Taipei Metro map is highly recommended. You can also download a currency converter app, we recommend xe.com, and another option is always good to have is Google Translate or another Translate app just in case you encounter any language difficulties. Now just remember if you are downloading a language translator, download the languages you need prior to traveling with some good land-based internet and then they'll work offline once you've got them downloaded. We have also linked the Taipei Zoo and Taipei Metro websites in the description below for some further information. Now if you found this video useful, feel free to hit the like button below and also the subscribe button. It's completely free and it just helps expose our videos to a wider audience. Well thanks very much for watching everyone and enjoy the pandas in Taipei.